Hey guys, it's Donna Brown here, the work from home queen. I hope you're doing well and I have another episode of Poop to Profit for you today. So this episode has come about um, due to the fact that I am about four, three or four days away from my due date until Blueberry comes, hopefully. Hopefully they're not overdue. <laughs> and what I've realized in the past maybe four weeks, everyone around me, family, colleagues, friends, have been freaking out about the amount of work I am doing, which to me is actually not that much work, um, and the appointments I'm keeping, I'm still mentoring clients, I'm still scheduling in meet coffee chats or Skype meetings or whatever it might be, and a lot of people are contacting me saying, oh, are you sure that's okay? Or, you know, what if you're in labor or something like that? And, and the way that I've approached it is I'm just continuing on until I am in labor, until I actually do give birth, because if I started four weeks ago, you know, slowing down and, um, you know, not having as many client meetings and things like that, I would have missed out on a whole month's worth of awesome conversations, sales and other things that are going on in my world. Now, obviously this is within reason, within health, you know, within your own health regime and within your own um, capability to cope. Um, I have a, an extremely very good pregnancy. Besides the fact that my pelvis is falling apart a little bit, so my leg pops out now and then, for the most part, I've had a really textbook standard pregnancy, which is awesome. So I haven't had to, I haven't been put on bed rest or anything like that, which is really cool. But it's interesting that people were freaking out so easily um, about working with me, even though I knew that I was okay to work. And the way that I've approached it is, um, I'm not going to cancel anything. I haven't canceled any meetings. I haven't canceled anything until I actually do go into labor. So, you know, a lot of people are freaking out about it and I think, well, we'll just let it go because there's no point in canceling something until I actually need to cancel it. And so many things I've done, like just yesterday, you know, having conversations and sessions and things that a lot of people wouldn't have done four or five days out from giving birth. But uh, here I am still not in labor. So why stop is the way I, you know, the way I say it, as long as you can cope. Now, it's interesting because I've realized that and this may come across, <laughs> I don't want to be judgmental and I don't want you to think I'm judging you because I'm not. This is my only person, this is just my personal experience. But a lot of people use children as an excuse to not commit to certain things. Now, I obviously don't have children yet. So I'm sure there are many mums watching this video that will be really offended or upset or not agree with what I'm saying. But my current, I can only base this on what I currently know. And my current perception is it's really easy to say to someone, I don't know if I'm going to do that program or I don't know if I want to attend that event or whatever it might be or follow through with this thing to do with my business because I don't know how I'm going to feel on the day. I don't know how my child's going to be on the day. I don't know if my husband's going to be home in time. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And because all these I don't know variables enter their mindset and all their, also their vocabulary, they voice them to the people that they want to work with or that who are asking for their commitment or not. And it almost gives them a get out of jail free card because I know for me, you know, a lot of people say to me, well, I don't know how I'm going to be on that day. I'll let you know. And then on that day, if there's any tiny little feeling of I can't be bothered or I'm tired or I'm feeling overwhelmed, it's really easy to pike or not follow through because you've already, you, you think to yourself, oh, but I already told Donna that I don't, I, I didn't know if I was going to follow through. I already told that person I may not be able to make it. So it's okay not to go. Whereas if you actually flip it around on the other, on the other way and actually commit to it, and even, you know, there's a less likely chance that you actually will not turn up or will pike because you actually did commit. Obviously, there are going to be some situations where you cannot follow through and that is okay. But out of a hundred situations where you go, maybe, 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 you'll probably attend 20. Out of a hundred situations that you say yes, there's probably only going to be two or three that you can't actually do for extenuating you know, situations. For the most part, I haven't canceled a thing whilst being pregnant. There has been one networking event which I didn't attend and that's because I couldn't drive at the time. My, I dislocated my leg and it came out of my pelvis and I just, I, I just couldn't drive. It was too painful and I couldn't get a lift there, but I did let them know. But up until the day before, I had full intention of going and I actually was going to go. 
Um, and this event is like an hour from my house. So, you know, I w it wasn't around the corner if I wanted to labor or whatever it might be. Um, but I just think it's just an interest, it's just something I wanted to bring up because I feel like this is something that's really prevalent in today's society. And it's not just to do with children, but there are a lot of people who use their own illnesses or um, other extenuating services, situations, sorry, around them as potential excuses to get out of things before they've even reached the opportunity. Like they're already planning in their mind why they can't do it rather than thinking to themselves, how can I actually get this done? What do I need to get it done? Do I need this particular treatment to happen? Do I need to find this babysitter? Do I need to organize this? So instead of trying to figure out the solution to do it, they're already thinking, well, it's not gonna happen. So I'll tell them maybe, and then I'll see how I feel on the day. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this particular topic? I know for me personally, and remember, I'm basing this on the fact that I don't have children at the moment. So I, um, whether my perception changes or not after blueberry is here, I don't know because I don't know and <laughs> I can't tell you that. And I'm sure I've pissed off a lot of mums and that's okay, I'm okay to, I'm okay with that. And when, when I was telling Pickles about this topic that I was going to record, he was like, whoa, that's gonna, that's not gonna go down well. And I said, I'm happy to wear that, <laughs> wear that hat because it's a conversation that I needed to bring up because too many times I've seen this excuse happen and I just compare it to you know, and I was just showing him the difference. Like I've said to him, I'm still going along. I've got a com I've got a meeting on Monday. Like today I'm recording this on Saturday. I've got a meeting on Monday, which is I think my actual due date or the day before my due date. And and you know, and as far as long as I don't go into labor, it's going ahead. I can have this conversation. It's no big deal. Um, even if I am in early labor, I'll still have the conversation. I mean, the other day I had tons of Braxton Hicks when I was having a mentoring session with a colleague or a friend of mine from um, the US, and I was just you know wiggling around like this and waving and kind of bopping around as I was talking to her because I was in a little bit of pain but I wasn't I could still concentrate I was just a little bit uncomfortable she didn't know that I, uh, we had no camera on um, she didn't know that I was having a contraction <laughs> I just kept and, and why cancel it look two weeks later I still haven't given birth so I might as well just keep going um, but anyway I'd love to hear your thoughts what do you think how does this make you feel do you think even if you're not prepared to admit it in you know actual commenting below you know, PM me privately if you don't want to admit it. Have you slipped there thinking, yes, I think I do use my ex my children or my sick relatives or my own health as an excuse to not commit to things. Um, this can be quite a painful thing to admit and, and you may get quite offended by it. I don't know, but I think it's a great conversation for us to have. And this is why I'm doing this video. So I um, look forward to hearing your replies, your responses. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more videos, particularly if you want to, if you think, oh Donna, wait till you have Blueberry, everything is going to change and you're waiting for the day where you can sit with popcorn and watch me have a nervous breakdown, then I encourage you to subscribe so you get to see me eat my own words because I'm actually going to be completely honest during my vlogging journey of Blueberry entering my business. That is my full intention. And if I'm having a shit day, I'm going to let you know I'm having a shit day. <laughs> And um, so please do subscribe because I'm hoping they're coming any minute now, any day now. <laughs> and, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.